This is Sky with Politics NY. Schneps Media is asking each candidate running for New York City office this year three questions in three minutes. And right now I'm with Japneet Singh. He's running for City Council District 28. That's in Southeast Queens. So let's get to know him a little bit. I know there's an incumbent in this seat. So we'll find out why Japneet is deciding to run this year. So tell us. First and foremost, thank you guys so much for the opportunity. Uh, like, like you mentioned, my name is Japneet Singh. And I'm a resident of Southeast Queens. I live in South Olden Park for the last 17 years. I pretty much grew up in this in this neighborhood. Uh, all my levels of education from elementary school to high school have happened right here, literally within the radius of a mile. And uh, I went to college at Queens College, which is like 15 minutes drive from here. So uh, I pretty much everything that I am today is, um, you know, due to this community. So over the last couple of years, as I was growing up, uh, what we saw as a community is that we don't have fair representation. I'm a sick American, and uh, there's no sick representation in politics uh, as a whole in New York State. Uh, and not moreover, there's no South Asian representation here in our city. So uh, a community that has a very big South Asian population, the fact that we don't have a seat on the table, that was a very big, um, you know, that was a very big reason why I'm running. There's a lot of, that's a very big reason a lot of people have tried to run in the past as well. In 2017, there's a West Indian person named Richard David that ran as well. Um, but now it's our time. And due to the last four years of representation that we've had, uh, the leadership, the current leadership has not made any efforts to represent South Olden Park, South Richmond Hill. And uh, we want to make sure we change that and we represent every community that lives in this district. So what would it mean to bring that platform to the table? What would you do differently for your community? I think right now we need to understand the times we're living in. I think the fact that year after year, public education is being cut, you know, uh, resources, social services are being cut. That's what our community here, and I know every community around New York City needs. Uh, people have begged for more social services. I know when I was a kid uh, right here in middle school, uh 226 we had some a program called beacon program which is like a youth services program and uh what that was is that you had you had access to tutoring you had access to recreation uh activities after school those those are all gone um we want to bring those back we want to bring a community center in a community where the elders the the youth of the community has have a safe space where they can go and uh you know talk to their community members we don't have any of that and those are big platform items that we want to bring to, to uh, and, and hopefully change. And another big thing that we have here is uh, we have the beautiful Van Vick Expressway. I don't know if you ever were on the Van Vick Expressway. There's been construction going on the Van Vick for the last 15 years. Why? We don't know. Uh, we have the JFK, uh, the, the only international airport in New York City in our district. We want to know why it looks like the way it does. Like the fact that that's the only international airport, every major politician, every major celebrity, every major, every everything comes through that airport. And the fact that it, it looks like a third world airport, it's, it's mind boggling. And then on top of the infrastructure, Van Vick Expressway, like I mentioned, has been a disaster for the last 15 years. We wanna change that. Okay, something like the airport is not just up to the city council, as you probably know, right. it's having bigger conversations. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot of things on the table. Thank you for giving us all that background. Now, Japanese, tell us something fun about yourself that maybe wouldn't normally come up on a political interview. Right. I used to be an Uber driver. I used to be a taxi driver. And uh, bringing that blue collar uh, experience and then bringing that white collar experience is a very big representation of this community because you have the, the the youth that's entangled in uh, corporate jobs and you have the elders that are entangled in blue collar taxi jobs and construction and all that. So the fact that I bring the best of both worlds, um, hopefully it's a recipe for be you know beautiful change in this community. Okay, you heard it here first on Snaps Media's three questions in three minutes, and I'm Sky with Politics NY.